Let's come to a very special way of using the grids with MetaGrid. And this is a new feature which um, has been added with the version 1.75. First, I will show you the problem of mid, uh, grid trading. We have here the order blocks. You can see the red lines are the sell order blocks where we can expect that price maybe gives a sell reaction if we find a good one, like the double order block we use normally for trading. And we use also normally a grid that we can make, for example, a grid between such blocks where we see here are three red order lines. And in this block, we can expect that price will go down again. And we don't know exactly where. So we would normally here go into a trade, then make some grids here in it. And um, then we hope that price goes down and our grid is in profit. If we do this by the classic way, we would plan here a trade and let's say we would, uh, for example, want to go here in the trade here on this area where the first red line is. And then we want to make a grid and let's see here the distance between. So it's uh, 23 um, ticks. So let's make a negative. We want, don't want to have a positive grid here. We want to have five negative grids with the 23 uh, ticks here. Let's save it and let's click on the preview button to see how it looks like. And you can see um, there's a problem. If I make the chart a little bit bigger, maybe we see it even better. No, it's not so good. Let's <laughs> do it this way. You can see here we would go into the sell trade. And normally it's very wise to go into uh, additional trades on every um, next uh, sell order line as uh, if the price goes here in it and the price goes against us it would be very wise then to open the next grid trade on this line here this is very nice we have here the grid then it would be very nice if the price still goes against us to open the next um, trade on this line before this line with a next a lot higher lot size if you use the multiplier but you can see this grid here is a little bit too high it should be more here and then if the price still goes against us it would be very wise to go before this next order block in an additional trade again with a higher lot size but you can see again this uh, grid here is a little bit too high so uh, we don't get a really a nice grid here like we want to have it um, it's only a compromise, but it's not a perfect grid we want to have. And here's the solution with the new uh, feature on 1.75. Let's first delete here this uh, grid. I make here zero in it. I click on save and you can see the grid is gone. For this, uh, uh, if you want to solve this problem, we have to make the grid by ourselves. And you can see here these two green buttons. We can make um, with MetaGrid our own grid customized. You can see here the P grid size, the N grid size. If I click here on the N grid size of this, on this green button, I get this blue line here. This is a grid line. I can place it now wherever I want it. And uh, we said if price goes against us, we want to go in here with our next grid. So I move this blue grid line here a little bit deeper as this um, order block. If the price now goes here into our sell trade and price goes against us, it will open on this manual placed blue grid line the next trade with a 1.5 higher lot size. So we need here the next uh, um, grid, we said, if the price still goes against us here, we want to go in here on this order block with the next grid. We click again on our green button, we get a new grid line and we place this grid line now here, a little bit deeper as this red line. And of course, we want to go into a trade here. If the price still goes against us, we need again a grid line, we place it here. And now we have a perfect customized grid for this order blocks. Price comes here to our entry line. We get opened with 0 0.10 lots. If the price goes against us until the next order block line, MetaGrid will open an additional trade with a 1.5 higher lot size in this case. We use the multiplier. If the price still goes against us, it will open the next trade on this blue line and the next on this blue line. And normally we should then see in this area here a sell reaction and then our um, grid should come into profit. And with this we can make 
the perfect grid. Of course, we can use um, P grid sizes too, uh, uh, lines too. If we click on the um, green button on the P grid, we get a grid below the entry and we can place, for example, here uh, P grid size two if we want here the P grids. So it's possible too. Um, so let's let it here. And you can see uh, with this, we can make our perfect um, P grid and N grid. And of course, you can delete it. Uh, how can we delete such a grid? If you say, no, I don't like it. I want, I don't want to have to this line. You go with the right mouse uh, click on this line and you make delete and your manual placed grid is disappeared again. And so now we only have again our N grid line here. And of course, if um, then price has reached our line and the trade is running, you can always move this line wherever you want. If the trade is going on and you don't like this here, you can move it here or here or here, or you can even place additional lines during a running trade. So you have all the possibilities to make your grid customized uh, on a planned trade, on a pending order. And if the trade is running, you can also with these two buttons uh, place additional um, grids here on it. It's no problem now with this new feature. If you click on the close all button, of course, the pending order and all the manual grids are deleted. Let's go into a live trade. Um, this is not a perfect pair. We have a high spread. Let's change to a different one. We use the random button, for example, to come into a random pair. Don't like this. Yeah, let's use the Aussie cat, for example, on the M5 time frame. We wait until the order blocks are loaded. Here we are. You can see um, price was here going down and this was the beginning of the day. Um, and price come into this buy order zone and accumulated the buy orders and you can see we get a lot of buy reaction here in it. So this um, block is already over. We would trade it anymore, but only for demonstration. Okay. Normally we don't trade it anymore here. So let's say we go into a sell trade, for example, um, we say that all these buy orders are gone. Maybe price is now going down. We don't know it. We want to go into with uh, 0.10 lots. We open our sell trade and you can see I have um, uh, put it all to zero. So we don't have any um, grid at the moment. So let's go. We click on it. We are now in the trade with 1.0 lots on this pair. And now we say, okay, I need a grid. I want a grid, a, personali a personalized grid, a customized grid. No problem here with the two green buttons. Let's say we want to have an additional trade if price goes against us. We click on the end grid here. We get our blue line. We move it, for example, here. We want again an end grid. Say we want to place it here if the price goes here. And let's say we want to have here this blue line. So now we have our negative grid. If price goes against us, then on, on every of this blue line, we will get additional trade. Always multiplied the lot size with 1.5 to get a higher lot size here. And now comes the really good stuff about this customized grid um, things. Um, let's say you see the chart and you think, oh, damn, price is going down. It would be nicer if I have here the grid lines placed below that we get additional trades below. It's no problem. Uh, only use, for example, this blue line and move it here. Then you have the grid placed here as a positive grid. If the price goes no down and hits this blue line, it will open here a grid. You can always move the grids wherever you want during a running trade. It does not matter if you change the position of the blue lines every time the price touches a blue line you get additional in this case sell trade and always with a 1.5 multiplied higher lot size because we use the 1.5 multiplier here at the moment so and if you need more lines simple play click here on this um, button and it does not matter if you click on the P or the N grid. If you move the blue line here above the price, Metagrid automatically recognizes that you want to have here now a negative grid, even if we have it used here with the positive grid size button. If you uh, place the uh, blue line above the price, in this case, 
um, Metacrit will open additional sell trades and it will open additional sell trades if you place it below. And as I mentioned, you can always move the lines wherever you want. And now the price is very close to our first blue line here. Maybe we see that the price here touches our blue line and then we would get an additional trade here with the multiplied 1.5 lot size. And I can uh, move it a little bit closer and maybe that we can see here a reaction then. Let's do it here and here. Um, I want only to demonstrate how nice this works and um, this function is and this feature is really, really nice uh, to customize your grid and you are um, really uh, free uh, where you want to place your grids and how to, uh, uh, this grid looks like. You are not now stick to a fixed number here like um, you use the um, menu button here. Still, of course, it's very easy to make a grid with this menu here, but if you need a customized grid, um, this is um, the way you go with these two green uh, buttons here. Let's see if the price touches our um, blue grid line here. It has to jump over this blue line that we get additional trade. <clears throat> Today we have really not that much movement um, on the charts and um, we have always to wait that price does something but maybe we get now here the touch and the jump over of this blue line. The touch alone is not enough. The price has to jump over. You can see now it happened. We get the next uh, grid trade multiplied with 1.5 based on the first one and we have here our additional grid now and if price now touches this line we get the next one. If you say, oh, now I don't want this grid here help, uh, no problem. Right mouse click, click on delete and this additional grid disappeared and you don't get um, a grid. If you now say, oh, I want a grid again, you can um, use a new one or you move, for example, the lower one here at this place and then you have here your new, new grid. I think this is a very, very nice feature um, um, we have now on Metagrid to customize the grid, especially for the order block trading. But this grid helps, um, this customized grid helps a lot for many, many trading styles. And I'm sure you will love it too if you use the grid trading. And um, yeah, try it and make a lot of pips of it.